Hey, my name is Jess. Just Jess. J J J J Just Jess. There we go. I'm a performer, traveler, sweet potato lover, and I have a huge passion for sharing my adventures, stories, and life lessons through film. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and subscribe at the end if you'd like to stick around for another adventure. Yeah! Hey guys, hello. So, I am in Indonesia with... Hey! Planning this trip for so long and it's just crept up on us so quickly. And now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we landed in Surabaya this morning. It's now 3.20 p.m. Um, yeah, we took about two hour drive in the car, ate lots of snacks. <laughs> we have to like, make it like stick out like oh, that. Okay. Like, and then hold the end of it. <laughs> and then we got to our hotel, which is amazing. Yeah, we had a bit of a drama. So I got a drone a couple months ago and I had some trouble. I had it sent off to get fixed. It wasn't actually broken and it came back and I've just been so excited to fly it and to bring it to this place because we're going to be doing some amazing hikes and seeing some incredible waterfalls. And um, I lost the cable to charge it. We actually tried today going to the DJI place of Malang, where we are right now, and they didn't actually have the cable. But hey, I didn't even think they'd have a DJI place here, so we tried. Anyway, where we are right now, you can probably see a lot of blue around me. There's a place called Rainbow Village. There's actually a second village next to it, it's called the Blue Village, and this is where we're staying. It's actually called the Blue Village. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Do you want me in your shot? And we're staying amongst the village. This is dead end. Um, no, it goes around. Oh. We're basically walking amongst people's <gasps> Oh. Oh. I'm walking amongst people's homes at the moment. And there's like kids everywhere and little kitty cats. Look, anywhere else in the world, this place would be chock-a-blocks with people taking photos. It's just so aesthetic and yeah, it's nothing else like it and I've seen anything like this before. There's the blue one and the rainbow. Yeah. Look at it! It's all rainbow! It's so cool! Yep, it is pretty cool. And it wasn't until I left the village that we discovered the incredible story behind it being rainbow. So basically, this used to be one of the poorest slums of Malang. And it was to the point where they were actually forced out of their homes, but there was a high school principal who saw the need for the community to come together and he came together with the students and of course the help of the government and they came up with this idea to paint the village rainbow to spread joy and happiness. It definitely did with us when we visited. <laughs> so now it's also attracted tourists and it's created this enormous source of living for the city. So after hearing about this story, I was like, whoa, this village really knows resilience and their ability to recover so quickly from the difficulties and the toughness of the situation, like real respect for them. I could actually really tell how proud and grateful that the locals were for their community, or they are for the community because they were just so friendly and welcoming and just so happy to have us there. 
we actually got asked for a lot of photos i'm assuming that's because we were western and we also got given free fairy floss so shout out to that guy but anyway the more i'm delving deeper into the story i've come to realize that basically everyone can relate to this situation not in the same way at all but you know we've all been in a place where we feel like our world is ending and there's no way out of it you know you've been rejected from a job you've really wanted you've been through a breakup you've crashed your car or there's no sweet potato left in the grocery store <laughs> and in these horrible circumstances as humans you know we're always told to look on the bright side and to find the positive and sometimes it just doesn't come in that moment or in a week or a month and that's okay you know it took this village twenty two thousand dollars to paint over 230 slum houses now that just doesn't happen overnight but they didn't give in and move out straight away they didn't given to the pressure they took time to heal and think differently and so i don't expect you to go and paint your house a rainbow but seeing this village literally change tourism forever makes me now believe that as humans we are so capable and can do so much more than we think we can so i encourage you to take a look at the next difficult situation you're faced with and create a new perspective and i'm actually sitting in my car right now in the car park currently overheating so i gotta wrap this up but i need to hear this advice for myself because i'm in a situation where i'm not sure which way to go with my career i'm feeling kind of lost at the moment after getting rejected from a job but i know that if i take time to heal like these people did and find a new perspective you know try out new skills find different jobs see what i like see what i don't like there will definitely be a light at the end of the tunnel and I'm excited for the next couple of months and to experiment so stay tuned with that but anyway back to the actual video you can read more in the link of the description I've put all of the research that I've done and yeah enjoy the rest of the video Looks like they just blended it. Oh yeah, buddy. That is the good shit right there. Day two, we literally just crashed at like 9 p.m. last night, but we got a lovely, this is really hard to film, we got a lovely wake up call at about 3.45 a.m. this morning. This was playing at 3.45 a.m. last night. <laughs> just kept going. Hannah's gonna come out soon, we're gonna film some more stuff and then we're going to check out and make our way to Mount Bromo, which is our second destination of the trip. I'm very excited indeed. Oh, someone's house. If you ever do come here, make sure you be really quiet because you are walking amongst people's houses and you know, you'll see people just outside doing their washing or doing normal things like people do. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Thank you. Trying to get to Bromo, which is about a three hour drive. And we've been using this app called Grab. It's like sort of like Uber. Didn't Cars work. don't want to take us. No, there. no, it's almost far away. And also, you need a four wheel drive like a Jeep to get to the actual area. We're with a guy called Marco right now. We're in his car. Nice guy, Mike. He's talking to some people. Um, to see if he can find us a jeep to get to our hotel, which is about two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours from here. First one was a fail. Let's see if this guy is going to help us. Round three. <laughs> we got a jeep. We got a jeep. Yay! We're gonna make it to the hotel. Yay! Yay! Tonight. Yay! <laughs> here we go. And 
yes, we did get a Jeep, thank goodness. And it makes so much sense now why we needed one because no normal car would be able to survive the roads that we were on. It was literally four wheel driving. And uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense now why people didn't want to take us. And because we didn't intend the two hour journey to take five hours, we ended up stopping at some touristy spots along the way um, that were in the dark. But it ended up being a good thing because Hannah, the genius that she is, she just finds a battery in a <laughs> stick and like creates that. <laughs> Experimented with some long exposure shots, which turned out to be so cool. Like, whoa, I was mind blown. It is so freaking beautiful here. Like, what the hell? We literally woke up and opened the curtains and it's mountains everywhere. And we're going to be here for about three days. Today's just going to be a chill day. We're going to do some editing and just take some time to, you know, wind down a bit. Because tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up and watching the sunrise over Mount Bromo. <sighs> Feeling very happy. Also, everyone, all the locals here are just so nice. I'm like blown away by how kind everyone is. We even got yesterday on the street just a, a guy come up to us and just give us a free iced coffee. Hannah and I were saying people also want people to come to this, these areas that aren't well known and to make them more popular so therefore like it makes sense for them to go out of their way to make sure that we love their place and their home yeah i will link everything down in the description below where we stayed make sure you like and subscribe like and subscribe to just yes L listen to her yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks because there's going to be a few more videos coming up about my trip in indonesia uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and following my journey and I will see you tomorrow at the Mount Bromo Sunrise. Bye!